that is the place where you will never put a needle. I think that's a very dangerous place to be putting a needle. So tell us what we need to know about the anatomy in order to inject well. So let's consider what the tissues are on the forehead and then consider how each one of those tissues is important. So we obviously have fat, connective tissue, muscle, skin, bone, blood vessels, nerves, arteries and veins. So those things are all important in their own way, um, but we're most concerned with the arterial blood supply to the forehead because those blood vessels come from the ophthalmic artery. So internal carotid blood supply, ophthalmic artery, and then supply the forehead. We need to know where those vessels are most vulnerable to injection and therefore not to inject in those places. So it's actually very easy to know where they are because they're very well described. You'll find the supraorbital artery parallel with the inside of the iris. So if you draw a line directly up from the iris, that's where that artery should be. Medial to that, you have the, in the frontal notch, you have the supratrochlear artery. Now both of those arteries will stay deep for about one and a half to two centimeters from the periorbital ridge. So that is the place where you will never put a needle. I think that's a very dangerous place to be putting a needle. I, I know some people do it. Um, perhaps if you're extremely confident and you're, you're relying on being in between those two arteries, you maybe can, but I, I personally would never put a needle in that area. And if you ever are injecting there, it's probably much safer to use a cannula. Now beyond that point, it's important to understand the vessels are, are then making their way up more superficially. So they will cross the frontalis muscle and then end up on top of the muscle where they can supply both the skin and the muscle together. And I believe the nerves follow the same path, which is also useful to know. So they become more superficial and smaller as they go up the forehead. And this becomes useful to us in terms of designing a safer injection pattern. The muscle itself is sandwiched between two layers. So you've got the skin and the hypodermis then you have the muscle and underneath that you have loose areolar tissue and this is really the the planes that we need to think about when we're injecting for both botulinum toxin and dermal filler where are you intending to be and how will you know that you're at that depth 